welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with The Sims. Unfortunately, I've had to delete my Baker family and my Zodiac Challenge family. Or saves. I'm like, oh, I'm so upset about it. But I think a mod or CC that I downloaded was corrupted and it messed both of those save files up and like all my other save files. So I've had to restart my entire Sims mods fo folder, but I'm, I got some mods back in. I got a little bit of CC, not too much, not going to go too crazy. Hopefully this doesn't happen again, but I decided this was time to start a new legacy challenge. Hopefully nothing happens with this one and we can actually do this and keep up with it. But I've decided to do the occult legacy challenge. I will put down the creator. I'll put the creator on screen because I like completely forgot their name off the top of my head. I am so terrible at this. I am like so sorry. Uh, but I don't play with the occult as much as I would like to. And I don't know like all of their little secrets or, you know, things like that. So I've decided why, why not? Why not do that? Try out some occult, play with it, have some fun. So our first generation here is going to be Gen 1 and it's going to be in Strangerville. And which I love Strangerville. It's honestly one of my favorite game packs that we got. If you don't have Strangerville, I recommend getting it just because it is, it's so out there. It's so weird and wild and just, it's fun. It's just good fun. So for the little blurb here, it says, after leaving home for the first time, you find yourself living in a small home in Strangerville. You're not there very long before you start to notice things are particularly strange and the local locals are even a stranger. At your job at the local lab, you overhear colleagues talking about the town's mystery and the other lab that stands across town. You get sucked into the conspiracy and are determined to figure it all out. On top of that, you're pretty sure you've made contact with aliens. What could possibly go wrong? So our aspiration is going to be the Strangerville mystery, which I love. That's the one where you get to go fight the mother plant, go into the secret lab, do all these like little missions, basically. Our traits are going to be paranoid, genius, and socially awkward, which I feel like are very fitting. And then our career is obviously going to be the scientist career. The color thing for this gen is going to be orange, so you're going to be seeing a lot of orange. And I feel like that's very Strangerville-like. Obviously, we have to live in Strangerville for this one. We don't have a spouse, which I'm totally fine with. And we are allowed to have children, but they can only be product of abduction, which means that the children are going to be aliens and there is no limit on the children, but the heir must be an alien baby. We must max the logic and the programming skill and we have to live in a trailer or a cabin and grow a bizarre fruit. So let me shut this down and let's get into meeting our Sim. So this here is Elliot. He is our socially awkward little heir for this seer, seer, or generation. I did make it a male because males, when they get abducted, most of the time become pregnant. And that's going to be like a guaranteed alien baby. And I feel like that would probably just be easier than trying to somehow get... I don't even know if females can get pregnant from being abducted now that I think about it. But I also thought this would be a nice little change because normally I have my heirs be female, at least my first, oh, my first generation be female just so we can get them pregnant right off the bat and do all of that fun stuff. So I think it would be fun playing a male and especially a little social, socially awkward male who's kind of like, uh, I'm just gonna, you know, do my own thing, figure out this mystery. As you can see... He does live in a pretty uh, run-down place. Here, I'll zoom out. We can do a little tour. Let me get the walls back up. It is pretty... Oh, there's Elliot's face. Pretty run-down. Nothing, nothing special at all. 
we go through here. Oh, there is a spider up there. I didn't know that was... That's cool. I didn't know that. We go through here, and this is going to be at the bathroom. Now, I did download some cu oh, custom content for, like, some bathroom clutter, as well as the uh, appliances in here, just so they look more run down. And I will link those in the back as or in the bottom as well. Unfortunately, I couldn't find an orange robe or an orange shower, so we went with yellow. It'll be fine. It's all fine. But then in here is just going to be the bedroom. Nothing special in here. Oh, we do have a dog, I forgot to mention. I did give him a dog. Back here is the outside. It is nighttime. So, just ignore that. Ooh, that's pretty. I never noticed the lights over there. Ooh. Okay, so let's just, oh, here's the dog. It's just a little puppy that he just adopted, you know. He moved out of, t moved out of home. He heard rumors about, or like he somehow, I, in my, my head canon is he moved out, of, moved out. Somehow he got hooked up with this real sweet gig at this lab in this really strange town, but he was like, you know, I need the money. I need I need some money. I need a, you know, and this is, like, going to set me up for life. And then it just kind of takes an even weirder turn from there. But he decided that way he wouldn't be lonely. He adopted this little puppy. I named the puppy Dakota just because I love that. That is such a pretty name for, at least I think that's a pretty name. Over here's like our little front porch. And let me just get the roof up there. Yeah, so this is our little trailer. As I think as we level up and get more money, we will move uptown into the nice green area. Also, this is I changed out the saloon. I changed out everything or all the buildings in this town. But that's the saloon that actually looks... I haven't seen that from across the street yet. That looks cool. Oh, so we'll definitely have to go there. Okay, so let's just hop right into it. So, the first thing that we need to do is get this man a job. <laughs> and, okay, so he wants to be a scientist... Focus, have two breakthroughs, which I think they just skip breakthroughs just on their own. Oh, also, so his traits are paranoid, social awkward, genius. He is panromantic, which means he is just attracted to anyone regardless of their gender. And then he's also asexual, which I feel like fits this generation. So, this was also random. I did the let fate. He's breaking. Go here. So I let fate decide his sexuality, and this is what it came up with. And I was like, that's fitting. That is very, very fitting. Okay, so what are your needs like? Oh, that. Use the restroom. What are you trying to do? I don't know. Can you? I thought I play tested everything. Maybe I didn't. Um, let's just go ahead. Oh, I wanted to cheat his money away too. Hold on, let me let me fix that. So I'm just gonna give him 150. That way we're not completely, you know, strapped for cash, but definitely not made of money, you know. Okay. So, it is Monday, so we should have work in... Yep, so we work tomorrow. And we'll have two breakthroughs. Which, again, I think they just get by themselves. We also need to level up the logic skill. Oh, and as you can see, see, we, like, just adopted Dakota because we have, like, no 
Oh my god, one day until she ages up. I think I'm playing on the normal lifespan. Let me double check. Normal, yeah. So I, like, never play on normal, so this is gonna, like, uh, go by so fast, I feel like. But I feel like it'll be more of a challenge for me, just because I never play on normal lifespan. Are you just eat? Is it the books that are giving you issues? Let's read something. Yeah. Okay, so let me move these. They look cute there, but... It's fine. Can they only go... Okay. Then we can just put those there. It is one in the morning. What uh, are you? You're not that tired. Oh, sweet. So we are almost about ready to have a breakdown. Eureka! Ellie Greenwood has had his first breakdown and wrote down an idea for a monument converger. Click on the notebook button to learn more about. No, I want you to. Leave day. You're just gonna leave the dog outside, aren't you? Um. Now you can go to sleep. Why do I have earbuds? Wait, hold on. Um, earbuds have been added. You can, yeah, you can also click on him. Okay. Okay, dog is moving. That's good. Let's pick up the dog. Okay, and we can put the dog down in here. I don't know why I accidentally went into... Oh, just look at the puppy. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, oh, it's a pet. Her. We can praise. It's a breeze. Offer some friendship. Oh, she's so cute. Boom, Ray. Dippa, dippa. Um, trusty notepad in hand, it is time for Elliot to go work at the lab. Maybe today is the day for a major breakthrough. Carry your join. Yes, we're, we are going to join. So I have added some NPC sims or like townies off the gallery that have like jobs. So uh, hopefully that. I added, like, scientist, military, police officer, like, every job, almost. Okay. Daily experimentation. Welcome to Future Sim Labs. You'll be quite busy conducting essential experiments, researching new technology, and maybe even interacting with alien life. It is your job to leverage p potent scientific equipment for the purposes of good, we hope. Well, welcome. And, okay, I don't know. I keep getting this, and I don't know what this is for. It's fine. It'll be fine. Okay, no. Um, let me see. Get to know. Okay, let's get to know the... the let's do a friendly introduction. Okay, let's get to know. Boombraza? Huh? Okay, ask a co-worker for a medal. Let's also do a friendly introduction. Um, okay, oh, and now we need to ask her for a crystal. So, for me to type that, I did these. I have the smarter... Hi menu. Oh, we got a sass fire. We're just over here brainstorming. So I have the smarter pie menu by Twisted Maxis, which allows you to type in what you're looking for instead of having to go through every single menu option, especially since they've updated and changed the menu. And I feel like it is so hard now 
to find what you want. Um. While experimenting, Elliot acquired some spare parts. So I'm assuming that. Okay. We also need to chat with the robot for 10 minutes. And we're getting hungry. What? You're feeling overwhelmed. You're fine, sir. And we need to invent... Yes, let's invent this. Oh, look at that. We're inventing... You know, I feel like uh, they should not be trusting us to do this on our first day of work, but... Oh, that's cool. Oh, I can put- I can just- I'm just taking that home with me. Yep. Oh, I need to turn it on. Okay. That's fine. We'll do it in here after we analyze this metal. Let's turn it on. Okay. View. Okay, let's view it. That's easy to do. Oh, and this gets up our logic skill, which is good. Okay, and we found a new metal. Okay. Have a second breakthrough. Let's just practice analysis. That way we can get up a logic skill while we are here. Since we need to do that. You are also hungry, but you get off in like two hours. So you should be okay. No, you'll be fine, Elliot. Should we... Ooh, we're so close to that second breakdown, too. Or not breakdown, breakthrough. Have I been saying breakdown this entire time? That's embarrassing. Elliot's workday will end in an hour. He should wrap up what he's doing. And we've reached level two of the log logic skill, which is great. And we had our second breakthrough. Oh, and we've been promoted. Elliot has been promoted to apprentice inventor. He now makes an additional eight hours or eight dollars per hour for a grand total of 32 per hour. He also received 192 new clothes and Journey to the Stars. His next shift is Tuesday. Awesome. So what we can do is let's cook some... Okay, so he's already going to go cook some food. And maybe we can go out to town. To the saloon. Meet some of the locals. Talk about the town, hear about the town, you know. What did you make? Did you make a corn dog? You made a corn dog. That's an option? Never knew corn dogs were in this game. Okay. Are you gonna clean up? Oh, why aren't you cleaning up this plate? Clean this plate up, sir. Thank you. Um, have a scientific breakthrough while taking a shower. Awesome. So, oh, we got the sim ray. That's exciting. Uh, Dakota's a stubborn dog. They rarely change their misbehaviors and don't listen when you scold them. Okay. Let's give a big treat. Where is she going? Oh, she's just, you know. Hey, she did everything that she was supposed to, so I'm proud of her for that. Let's give her a big treat. And let's... I don't want you to pick that up. I'll just... Ah! I'll go ahead and throw that away for you. Oh, hello there. She wanted to welcome you to the community. And my, that's a lovely neck you have. Vlad! Vlad, you just can't be sending texts like that, sir. Oh, oh my goodness. That's not... Okay, what do we need to do for... We need to talk to five uh, sims about Strangerville. Buy from the curio shop. And then examine the sealed door at the secret lab. Oh, look. We are right next to this. Let's talk about Strangerville. This place is so cool. Just look at it. This is wild. I love it. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the secret lab after we talk to the five strangers or five people about Strangerville and the curio shop. Uh, the local library is known as scientists researching Strangerville archives. I wonder what they're looking for. So does this count as two? Okay. Uh, let's buy. Oh no. Can't buy anything. Um, what do, do I need anything? A uh, hundred and one tips for avoiding unwanting snoops and spies written by. Oh, we needed the bizarre fruit. Uh, uh this thing probably should not be. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. This book contains plans for all of Crystal Fuel's top secret, despicable inventions. Most of probably should not, be, but it's still worth a read. Okay. Fortune telling for goofballs. Of course, some lava lamps. Untold mysteries about Strangerville. What? I love this place. Is, this is so oh, cool. Okay, so we got that. Let's go plant this. Do not eat the bizarre fruit, please. I'm begging you. We also have this that we can put, I guess, in the bedroom. I have, like, no room for this. You can just go in the corner. Um, okay, you're going to bed. That sounds good. I really should get going now. Thanks for hanging. Okay. You were just at your shop. I wasn't hanging out with you, but... Also, I don't know if you can tell, I gave him the cow plant tattoo. Because I love... I, that tattoo just fills me with joy and like part of me wants it i'm not i'm not gonna lie will i ever get it no but like part of me wants to get it because it is a pretty cool tattoo i just wish that the th lines were like more bold i guess hey mind if i crash at your place for a few days sure i don't know who you are Take a picture. I don't know what that does, but yeah, let's do it. Huh. Photo of bizarre plant has been added to your inventory, and let's go back to work. It's just the same daily experimentation. Yes, I know. Something about jewelry. I hate that some of them you don't need. Can I sell these? Will you let me? Why do I have... Wait, what milestone just happened? Or are you just telling me that about milestones? Oh, I definitely can just um, sell all of these. Oh, we can water this one, though. I feel like I just stole money from work. Okay, let's do a friendly introduction to her. Meet another co-worker. Who is this? Vivian. Ah, Cristoba. Huh. Amoeba. And I think, can we ask them for... No, no, okay. I don't think they have metal. But we can go ask Sean, Sean, Chandel. Yeah, let's go ask her for some metal. What are you doing? Oh, Sims 4 is a great game. <laughs> Actually, it could be me, because I do have mods installed. Okay. And we need to... Is this not... No, this is it. Okay, so let's experiment. And... Oh, we've acquired the gemologist skill? From this? I what? Let's analyze a metal. Let's do this. No, you don't need to do that. Let's analyze a crystal. What is this? Oh, this was that Brad? Brad. Let's get to know Brad looks Hello. sad. Huh. Huh. Or confused. Oh, he's uncomfortable. Uh -oh. 
<laughs> Do Casper. <laughs> no, I don't mean to click on the computer. Let's get to know. Let's gossip. Love a good gossip. All of the gossip, please. Okay, and we need to ask. I don't think we're gonna have time, but we can ask for a crystal. Ah. Okay, so we did a fantastic job today. It won't be long before academic prestige and. Scientific achievements arrive. We earned three hundred and seventy-five dollars. So now we can definitely afford a telescope. So we'll do that. Okay, who's this? Oh, our stay of our guest. Is that the? Hold on. Yeah, that's the curio shop worker okay you know what he probably doesn't actually have a place to stay he probably doesn't have that. like that's why he needed to stay here he probably does this to everyone okay let's buy a telescope and we will just put that like right there and we'll just wait until the night sky, until it gets dark outside. Um, your bag is like right in the middle. We'll put your bag in here. I guess we can welcome Chaz. Dag dag. <gasps> Sparsos. Watch oh, no. it. Fantaloy. Mm. Oh. 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 You are still Good low base. on fun, but you're also Big hungry. Game. Let's go to, let's go to the saloon, the bar, the bar. Okay, and we'll go to Eight Bell Saloon Bar and Inn, and we'll bring Chaz. I like let's get Chaz out of the house. I guess you know. Okay, and it is alien night tonight. Oh, that's cool. Who's that? We have Sage over there. Let's talk to the bartender. Mark. Um, can I talk to the bartender? Okay, let's do a friendly introduction. Unfam so, this is an intimidating environment. It's an un unfamiliar environment and social awkward trait. Yeah, I understand that. So. Okay, so we met. Can we? Um. What? I don't know what it would be under. So. See, this is why I'm always like typing it in because I never know what things are. We have uh, Meredith. <laughs> we have another He's military no personnel. Ah. Oh, Just a random guy. Yes. I heard there's sorry things Kumba. going on at the oh, lab. The scientists and the military so. personnel around here probably oh, shed some light on the situation. Okay. Let's t ask this military personnel what is going on. Oh my god, he showed up in his... That is... I love it. That's great. 
Commodore. That is amazing. Oh, so bravo. Rina. Charm. Oh, it's crackpot conspiracy theories think there's some cover up at the secret lab in the crater, but they haven't got a clue. Okay. Oh, that's an alien. Oh my goodness, look at that. Let's ask them about Strangerville. Oh, she looks like blue in the mirror. That's cool. So we need to ask two more people. Oh no, what is this? Uh, oh. It went away. Oh no, it's back. Hold on. Uh, what are they talking about? Paranoid trait. Paranoid some that don't like being around. Others that are whispering. What are they talking about? They're talking about me. Uh, let's talk about Stranger. Uh, I was always curious what goes on in the secret lab after the explosion. Hina! <laughs> And the secret lab in the creator outside of town is off limits to civilians and under no circumstances should you go there. So that means that we definitely should go there. Oh, where's the mixologist? Why do they do this? I just wanted to order some food. Everyone is just, look at this. This place is popping. Look at Meredith go back there. And who's also Candence? Cadence and then Mercedes is also Oh we got some military. So the uh, And what are you doing? Are you just uh, you're just watching a movie? Oh, is it up there? Hold on. Okay, it is up there. I was a little concerned that it was like in the other room. Um, okay, we got a new bartender. Who is this? Um, okay. And... Nope. Still can't order anything. I don't know why you're saying goodbye to people. Okay, it is 11. No one is making drinks. So let's just go home. Okay, so we'll have him use the restroom, and then we'll serve dinner. What should we have? Let's do some chicken sliders. That sounds kind of good, actually. Oh, uh, there's one more going around. There's a crazy party happening. No, Atlas, we are socially awkward and paranoid. A party sounds like our worst idea ever. Okay, so I am going to leave this part here. We started our new career. We are, I think in the next episode, going to go explore the secret lab that everyone was talking about. And the military told us not to go there multiple times. So, like, obviously, we have to go there now, right? So we'll do that. Keep going on with the with our career hopefully invent some cool items if you guys are liking this series and you want to keep up with it please let me know down in the comments below i would really appreciate that but otherwise have a great night bye